the Legion of Nuremanu in Hinikoraku. This is the Legion of Two Tanifa called Hinikoraku in Ruamanu. They lived in the high hills and they were brother and sister. One day they were talking. At Hine Kuroko, can you hear that? Yes. What is that? Both Tanifa stood in front of their caves and looked out towards the sea. They tried really hard and they could hear it but they couldn't see the sea. I think that must be the big Moana. I can hear the waves clapping. Well, we've never been to the sea. I'd love to go and look at the sea. That sounds like a great idea. Let's make a plan and go to the sea. I think we should go this way. No, I think this is the best way to go. I think this way is easier. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's Stop! And so they argued. The two Tanifa just couldn't decide which was the best way to the Moana, and they finally agreed to, to go their separate ways and race to the sea. Hinikarako came from the Hangaroo area and created the Hangaroo River as she made her way to the sea. This is why the Hangaroo River is known as the Female River. Hinikuraku cast out the Hangaroo River on her way to the Moana. When Hinikuraku arrived at Turanga, she was in the lead, but she was very tired and decided to rest on a huge rock, combing her beautiful hair. Ruamanu came from the Rikatari area and created the Rikatari River. On his way to the sea, this is why the Rikatari River is known as a male river. Ruamanu went all over the place, swimming wildly, winding around and up and down, tracking out the land and carving the Rikotiri River with his tail as he went. When Ramu arrived at the falls, he sneaked past Hinikuraku while she wasn't looking. He created a new path through the bedrock and formed the Taranga Falls, joining the Waido River and making a mighty water. He carried on out to the sea. Hinikuraku was upset and decided to stay at the Taringa Falls forever. When the river is roaring, she remembered her anger. Make sure you stay well away. However, when you drive over the Taringa Bridge at dusk, you might catch a glimpse of her still sitting on the rock, combing her beautiful hair.